Hello everybody. It's the uh, 3rd of April 2024. So this is one of my regular customers. I've been trapping the rats here for about five or six years. And you know what, I haven't caught many here over this winter and over this autumn. But today, when I check this trap under here, uh, this is what I find. This trap has got just the rat's head in it, but it was a big rat. It was a very big brown rat, and something has come along and eaten that rat. I found the trap. I keep the trap under there, actually. So I pulled it out. The trap had been dragged. I usually keep it over by the wall there. Uh, I have a poison box. I've just checked the poison box hasn't been touched and the trap had been dragged right out over there and I thought it had nothing in it first and then I saw just a lump of fur I thought oh, a mouse but no not a mouse a big rat and something has gone under there and chewed that rat right away it just left me the head and whatever did that uh, because there's been so few rats around here this winter, I've only caught one or two here, and they were caught months and months ago in the autumn. So, whatever did this, I'm suspecting it was either a cat, feral cat, we seem to have quite a few feral cats around here at the moment, it was either a feral cat or a raccoon, one or the other. It did that left me just this this rat's head big head so it was last year about a month ago over a month ago checking these traps and as I said I just haven't caught many rats on this property um, this winter but let's go around the back because I'll leave that there for now because the rats I have caught on this property have usually be around, been around the back here. And I did do a video earlier featuring one of these rats which I caught in there, in that open uh, garden storage shed. And there's all kinds of junk for them to hide in. And it's nice and dry and it's up against a, a heated wall there. So that's where I usually catch them. I used to catch a few under here too, but see we got this time now. You see that trap hasn't been sprung. It's been sitting there. The slugs have cleaned the bait off, but the trap hasn't been sprung. But let's go and have a look over in here because this is where I often catch them. Often. Nope. That trap down there. That's the one that usually catches them. And that trap hasn't been sprung and it's had slugs on it. I can see the the glistening slug slime and the baits cleaned off. So I'll be resetting that trap. Actually I'm gonna put a fresh I'm gonna put a fresh trap there. That one's a bit damp. And uh, sometimes it helps to put a fresh trap in because it's got a whole new fresh set of smells on it. And sometimes the, the previous trap they might not have liked the smell of the rats on it, whatever. But you put a fresh trap there and sometimes that gets them. So this is where I usually catch them in here on this property. And I have caught, I think, two here. One last autumn and one in December or something like that. But it's been a few months since I've had one in here. Anyways, that's, uh, that's it. Not many rats around, but there is the odd one. And that one was big. It may have been a pregnant female. So you always got to be on the ball because there's always one or two around. And if there's one or two around, there may as well be heaps of them around because um, you got to keep checking your traps because it only takes one to get into a house and there's a hundred thousand dollars worth of damage if it chews through a water pipe or chews through the electrical line or if it's a pregnant female or even a single rat getting into a house will keep the household awake. Uh, will do damage to the property. The house value will drop. One rat in a couple of months can produce a lot of rat poo and a lot of rat urine. 
and the value of the property can drop significantly just because of one rat being in the attic uh, or whatever in the cupboards for a month or two um, the property value will drop you can have a cleanup job the rat smell is going to be hard to get rid of and as I said if it's a pregnant female then wow you've got a huge problem um, there if you don't catch that pregnant female that's going to really drop your property value so you got to keep on at these damn things anyways thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and thanks for clicking the like button um, and uh, see you in the next video